for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the men. She's as always got another scheme for you today, and it's a good one. Today I'm in the San Francisco 49ers playbook. I just put out the San Francisco 49ers ebook. Link in the description below. It's also on my Patreon, also on my Join Out community tab in a full breakdown if you guys want to check that out. But today I'm going to show you guys a scheme that really, to me, I'm sure I already know the, the title's going to be. It's going to be the Wildcat on steroids because it's one of the best and most uh, eclectic plays in the game this year. I mean, it's a brand new play from a, bland, a brand new formation. It's going to look pretty familiar. If you ran the Saints last year or if you ran my pistol playbook last year, you're going to see some of these plays look like they were gone forever in this playbook. The entire pistol bunch TE, which is one of my favorite formations year after year, is gone as far as I know. It might be in the pistol playbook, but I found an amazing replacement and that's the play formation we're going to look at right now. So the formation is the single back bunch TE. This was not in the game last year and if you look at some of these plays they should look pretty familiar the stick itself is a play that i put out last year from the pistol bunch te the cross drag is a play that a lot of people were telling me in the comment section that the second it disappeared they they wanted to cry <laughs> because this is one of their favorite plays. It's one of my personal favorite plays too, and you're gonna bet that you're gonna see it in today's video. And then, of course, the play that I'm gonna start off this video with, the wide receiver power fake. Brand new play out of this game. It's as good as it looks. Uh, you just wanna make sure you have a nice, fast receiver, uh, and this is just an amazing run play. So we're gonna start off with that. Before I get into the video, as always, though, if you guys wanna see more videos from the San Francisco 49ers or just more money scheme plays like this, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, I'll keep doing that. Now I'm gonna go put these run plays in my audible, because you can see there's a multitude of plays that work with this motion. It's going to make this scheme very hard to stop. So we'll go ahead and we'll put uh, the sticks of play that I want to show, but I might keep that on my Patreon. I will have extras on my Patreon on my Join Now Community tab. Or like I said, it's all in the ebook also. Uh, but we're going to keep the cross dragon there because we're going to show that. PA Jet Sweep will keep in there, the Zone Fake Jet, and then the last play, which is the bread and butter play to me, which is the, the wide receiver power fake Jets. Now before I get into this video, I just want to give a shout out to my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com. They've been after me to be a seller for them for about two years now they're some of the nicest people in the world and every time you shop through them you support this channel so if you want to pick up your coins you want to prove your mud team you can do it there uh, it's a huge favor to me it really helps on my channel every time you purchase coins for them keeps them happy keeps me happy and like i said you support this channel so if you want to do that link in the description below so let's go and let's run this i would say cover three cover four would probably be the best defenses to run this as you can see right there off the first run, we're having a lot of success. We've got guys just diving at our ankles. Uh, I typically like to take that wide. That was not a wide run. Let's just go to the replay here just to see what we're looking at because there's so much fake and misdirection play stuff going on here. Number one, this jet. Most people are going to follow this jet. And you're going to see your, your, your user over pursuit based off of that. I mean, if they don't, you know, you got the running back going in the opposite direction, which is awesome. But nobody's going to expect a double fake. It's like a double fake jet. So that's to the point where the second that first guy goes, um, your opponent will probably be out over here somewhere chasing that down. And then he turns into a blocker, a really good blocker too, by the way. As you can see across the line here, we got a hat on hat to the point where it's like, look at this. There's one guy. I have one guy to beat and there's nothing but green grass behind him. And sure enough, I mean, he just completely misses. I try to take it short. He just really over pursues and I get a lane. And now it's just, you know, it's just speed to the edge. I really don't have to do anything more than just sprint past this guy, which, you know, the tackling in Madden 22 is just amazing. The truck almost cost me too, by the way. If it wasn't for the fact that it was a linebacker chasing me, I probably would have been got caught. Now, I don't think you can run this too much because the, you know, you could, if, if you do run this too much, I think your opponent can just crazy blitz you out of it. Uh, but ultimately, you can see right there, like that was an all out man blitz. That's probably the biggest issue that you could have. But ultimately, if they're off in like soft zones and stuff like that, I mean, you're going to have a ton of success. Here we go again. We're having, we didn't get outside that time, but you can see a huge lane right up the middle. Go ahead and run it a few more times. I said this is just you know i don't even I, I keep messing up i keep taking it short i know i'm supposed to take it outside but when i see that space i just take it short it's just the way that this play is this play is just it's so broken to the inside it shouldn't be and i feel like if i stretch it i mean honestly i don't stretch it because the camera is blocking the tv for me i try to force stretch it there so let's do that again like I said, I like to run inside because I can see a little better. But look at this. Like, where's where where is this? <laughs> oh, and I fumble. That's something I noticed too, by the way. I fumble a little bit more often with receivers than I do running backs. The zone fake jets a really good play too, and it's based off the fake. 
So basically your opponent's gonna be going around chasing these outside runs and they're just gonna have a lot of success basically ripping off inside runs. I mean, like I said, it's like the Wildcat. So it's pretty much like how you're running here. You're just basically reading cover three, cover four, man coverage would be the original zone fake jet. Anything else, if you have spacing, if you have gaps inside, just take it inside. I mean, there's a lot of uh, opportunity to be had here. Right here, once again, I'm gonna go ahead and run the zone fake jet based off the fact that they're just, you know, there's nothing out here. If I get that block to the edge, like I said, I don't even have a lot of speed. But based off the fact that we had a man coverage, uh, there's just nothing out here. We're just getting huge. Uh, that was probably a man zero, which like I said, that's one of the better ways to stop this, but it didn't work there. Number one passing play, and one of the reasons that I'm using this is the cross drag. Now, everybody that watches my channel should know the cross drag. It's one of my favorite plays. You don't even have to make any adjustments. And it's it, it's funny because it's so similar to this play as far as it's all about crossers again. Like you have the, the, the jet sweeps the same way, but now it's a passing play. So it's like you're, you're ultimately going to be crossing your opponent up all game. You don't have to make any adjustments when it comes to this play. Man or zone, you're going to see how these routes are pretty much all going to get open. And like I said, this is just a super annoying, super cheesy setup as we're scoring a lot of points just by basically running this over and over. The setup that I ran last year from the cross drag um, is I used to motion out the running back, put him on a slant, and then I put the tight end on the streak. I still like that setup, but obviously it takes away the threat of the run. What makes this scheme so good is the threat of the run because it's so cheesy. Here we've got a cover three. That tight end can make a lot of plays at the cover three scene. You can also make a lot of plays against cover two. This is one of my favorite plays last year when it came to uh, the goal line. But like I said, if you do that, you, you take away the threat of the run and the user will respect the pass a lot more, which you don't want. You want him in the box. You want him playing uh, you know, down in the box that you can basically hit him with these deep passing plays. As you can see, these are man blitzes. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna see a lot of man blitzes because that's how you stop it. So if a lot of people are man blitzing you, you can basically just switch it up to the cross drag and have a very successful day. I'm not choosing man blitz, by the way. I'm basically just coming out in whatever. Uh, you can, you know, but as far as the reads go, I'm in, I'm in random defense right now, but as far as the reads go, it's really simple. You just go front to back. My preferred way to run this would be just to put the A route on a streak. That would be the best way because that'll pull back any pesky zone coverages. Um, although I'm getting a lot of man coverages here, and then you can see obviously these two routes inside are just torching man, any man coverage, which I think man's probably the better of the two defenses this year anyway. But ultimately, um, I just think that, you know, just basically streaking this guy here just to pull back zone coverage is probably the best way. Uh, and then, you know, you basically have a lot of options, like right here. This, we can take this running back and just make something with him in the flats. Although there, he really didn't turn up, feel very good. But he was open in the flats. So it's like, don't forget about the running back. That is something that's one of the more important routes when it comes to this play. But ultimately, it's about the crossers. And here, like I said, that A route here is a good route. You know what I'm saying? If it's a cover two, that looked like it was a cover four match, cover four quarters. We're going to show one more run play because I did not put it in my audibles. The stretch alert bubble. This is another play. Man coverage. Same set. I mean, same uh, defenses are going to be susceptible. Man coverage, cover three, cover four, all gonna be an issue. Let's go and let's pick that. So like I said, real easy read. We got cover three, cover four. I'm gonna wanna throw it to the B route. Anything else, hand it off, real simple. So here we go. Looks like we have that, that off zone coverage. Um, I, don't have, I don't have a ton of speed when it comes to these receivers, but you can see you can have success. So if there's like right here, no cornerback outside. Looks like he's coming in for a blitz anyway, so that might be a little bit of an issue. But like I said, based on the fact that there's no cornerback on that side, it's a man coverage, could steal that all game for a very big play. Let's do this again. Like I said, that's all right there. Let's we'll get out to the flats. Like I said, the blocking's not doing me no favors. Uh, that guy didn't block anybody, but I'm still getting five. I'll take that. The whole point of this formation, the whole point of the scheme is to annoy people. Um, it's one of the most annoying uh, series of plays in the game. So I don't really care if I get a home run every time, but if I can do this consistently, I'm going to be happy. So right here, once again, like I said, I just take it, get what I can get. It's just the fact that your opponent's going to be scratching their head and have no idea what to do. So then the last play I'm going to show is going to be the stick. This is a very good cover two play, which I didn't go over at all, based off the fact that, you know, most of the plays are designed towards cover three and cover four. Um, the cover two play is kind of important because that's going to be one of the better outside run defenses. So against cover two, just streak the A route and the B route. And by the time you make this motion, your opponent will not have a clue that you're basically a attacking his cover two. So basically this guy right here, just gonna be a very big cover two play outside. All you have to do is bullet, pass lead to the sideline, and the worst receiver, the guy I was complaining about the entire video. So I'll put the A route on a streak, put the B route on a streak, and then motion out this guy right here. By the time you make that motion, it's the last step. You make that motion last because your opponent will have no time to make any adjustments before you know that you're bombing them up over cover two. Like I said, this is basically a cover two play that you only run against cover two. It doesn't really have a lot of other 
uh, adjustments. But like I said, your opponent will probably try some cover two based off of the run plays are most acceptable to getting beat by cover two. And then like I said, you have a really big play to the edge here. Uh, if you throw it on timing, I threw that one a little bit early, but ultimately a very success for co successful cover to play. That's it, that's the video. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, do me a favor, as always, hit the like button, leave it in the comment section. And that's it, thanks for watching that, much it out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you. Thank you.